Hello everyone, welcome back to this space. My name is Edith Wanyoni and today the 25th of November is the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and it's also the start of the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence and it goes all the way to 10th of December which is the International Human Rights Day. So during this time the World Health Organization highlights 16 key facts on an intimate partner and sexual violence against women. The first key factor is the prevention of intimate partner and sexual violence against women. At the beginning of this year, as people retreated to their homes uh, to curb the spread of coronavirus, there were increased rates of sexual violence, gender-based violence, and domestic violence against women that were reported. Intimate partner and sexual violence can result to physical, sexual, reproductive, and mental health problems. And although males can be victims too, females are more vulnerable and more affected. As some of the preventive strategies include reducing childhood exposure to violence, number two, teaching on safe and healthy relationship skills, number three is strengthening economic support for families, uh, number four is challenging the social norms uh, that promote dominion and violence against women. Then number five, uh, we need to educate and empower bystanders on what GBV and sexual violence is all about. Then number six, we have to eliminate inequalities uh, in education and also in empowerment. Uh, number seven, we need to create protective environments. Uh, and lastly, we need to uh, create patient-centered medical care, therapeutic interventions, uh, housing programs, and legal services so that we can reduce the negative consequences that are felt by survivors. Thank you so much for watching this video and remember that together we can end gender-based violence.